everybody. Welcome back to Resin Nut. Okay, so today we're going to be doing this um, fish mold. Okay, uh, just the other day we did this fish mold. Okay, and it turned out to be the goldfish, which I really enjoyed doing. It was so much fun. And so I wanted to go ahead and do this one. And I'm going to change this one up a bit from the goldfish. And this one's just going to have kind of a completely different look about it but I'm excited to get it started. So um, I've mixed up eight ounces of resin. It's been sitting about maybe seven, eight minutes. It is starting just to get a bit warm. There's really not any bubbles, a couple of teeny tiny micro bubbles way down in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour just part of this. Let's see, I want about two ounces and that is right at two ounces there. I'm gonna spray, let's see, yep. Just a bit of alcohol, I mean, yeah, alcohol in there. And I've got a little black dot that came with it somewhere. Not sure where it came from. A little, maybe a little piece of glitter. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour, I mean, I'm gonna spray alcohol inside my mold here. This, this fish mold has, um, some fins on the inside, some textured fins, and I'm not going to be doing anything with those today, but I am going to be just going ahead and doing the eyes with my black paint marker. But I'm going to spray the bottom of my mold first before I do that, just so that it kind of, just so a little alcohol gets down in here into this part of the fin, okay? Because it's kind of, it's kind of a narrow part of the fin. So I want it to kind of get in there and I kind of squish it around a bit. Just kind of make sure that's in there pretty good. And I'm going to take one of my craft markers. This is CraftSmart. Um, came from Michael's, I believe. And so I'm going to go ahead and just do inside of this, the eye. So these are, these will be sticking out on this mold. When we're done with it, the eyes will protrude just a tiny bit. They're just small little bumps. Whoops, and I just marked on the inside, but luckily this pen cleans up really well with just a little bit of alcohol. Kind of squeeze this together. I don't want to rub, I don't want to rub the sides of the, where the eyes are together. I don't want to mess up my other eye. Let's see here. Pretty good on the eyes. Now I'm just going to grab my little bit of a paper towel here. Just get a little bit of alcohol on that. So I am using a new mic today. I really hope that this is going to help with all the audio problems that everybody's been having as far as, um, you know, different phones or tablets or TVs. Um, depending on what you're listening on, people have been having some trouble hearing me. So I'm really hoping that this helps. Let me know in the comments if you've noticed any difference. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this two ounces. Can you see here how it's pretty clear? I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it into the bottom of my fish. Okay, so I've got some resin in here and I'm going to kind of squeeze this to get my resin in there. And just a minute, please. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be using this chunky glitter mix. It's kind of a blend. And this came from Bling uh, Boutique Glitter and it is called Seven Mile Beach Mix. And I haven't been on their site um, for a bit, so I'm not sure if they still carry this particular one or not. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. It's just kind of a kind of a really pretty watery color. Okay, so I'm going to Kind of, I want this to sit and kind of firm up just, just a little bit. I want it to at least thicken a up a little bit, okay, before we do too much more. Uh, maybe I want to put just a tiny bit more in there. 
I want the top of this to be fairly clear. When we turn this over and it's right side up, I want there to be a nice clear layer in there. Okay. So I'm going to let this thicken up. Um, probably won't take too long, maybe 30 minutes or so, and then I'll be back. Okay. We'll do the next step. Okay, everybody. So our fish has been sitting there a little bit. It's really not, um, cured by any means, but it is getting warm. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the next step of our fish. Just a little bit of this blue. I mean, just like, I really don't want very much in there at all. Just like, do you see just a little bit of that? Just a little. I'm hoping that that's really not much when, it, when I get this stirred in there. Yeah, you see there? You can just barely see it. And that's what I wanted. I want there not to be much. This is going to be kind of a graduated look, I'm hoping. Put that in. To there. Okay. See how we're doing. I don't want any bubbles in there. I would really like this project to be super, super clear and, and uh, you know, almost glass-like. So let me show you what we've got in here so far. Can't really see real well, I know, but there's just the clear and a tiny bit of the glitter in there. Now, it does appear that it's just kind of floating in there where it was stirred in. I'm hoping that it didn't, that it's not going to float all the way to the bottom. Um, hoping it's thickening up, thickening up enough to where that's not going to happen. Okay. This little bit more of this in there. Oops. I see some, I see some bubbles coming into the bottom of this part of the fin. I'm going to go ahead and spray that. Squeeze that together a bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and just pour this, or actually I'm going to, I'm going to tilt this so that I fill up that tail where I was having some issues with this part of the resin. So you see this mold, it actually is pretty sturdy. You know, this mold came with that two pack and I feel like this fish, it's kind of tall and narrow, but I feel like it's not really, uh, you know, unless you just hit it with something, it's probably not going to fall over. seems to be, um, decently made really. Let's see. Can pour a bit more. Slow pour. It's kind of getting... I'm going to have to really watch as I notice that I've been kind of going out of frame often, and I'm sorry about that. I'll try to get that. As I'm getting some rearranging done, I'm really hoping to, um, to have that not be an issue. Hoping to expand my workspace so I've got a lot bigger of an area to work with so that that's not a problem. I don't see any bubbles down low that I need to squeeze out down in the fins or anything. I don't see any bubbles here at this time. Anyway, so I've got three ounces of resin left. That's not going to be enough to fill this up. I can tell right now. But I am going to get this into this cup and let it kind of sit for a second. Okay, I'll let that just sit there for a minute. Grab, I'm going to grab a baby wipe. Got my mess I'm making. Really ready for it to get just a bit thicker. I've noticed with, I'm using J-Diction resin, which I'm really enjoying an awfully, an awful lot. Um, one thing I noticed though, is that you have a pretty decent amount of work time with it. Um, I do find that once it starts getting hot, 
I mean, it really goes from hot to all of a sudden you have a lot of bubbles and it flash cures. So it gives you a decent work time. You just gotta, you just gotta kind of pay attention to that. Okay, so this is starting to thicken up a bit. And hopefully this is too, just like it is. Okay, so now I'm going to go a little bit more on the glitter. This is about maybe twice as much, but that's more resin. So I'm going to do two scoops. I blend this together in here. Yeah, I'm thinking that one scoop would have been enough for what I'm trying to do. But it's super pretty. And when I pour it, I don't want it to all just sink right to the top. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to spray some alcohol in here. And in here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and pour. See in here, we've got the is clear with just a little bit of glitter. I'm going to go ahead and pour this really kind of slowly in here. Oops, going over the side. Yeah, let's see. Get some to go into the tail down there at that end. really started thickening up quickly. Um, like I was saying, it just kind of, this resin really does that. It will go from just kind of starting to get warm to really starting to get hot to you're done. You see, I have a bubble here in the tail. Squeeze that out. See the bubbles coming out. See them coming tail there. Okay, seems to have filled up pretty well. I don't really see a lot of bubbles anymore over there. Gosh, that's kind of a big bubble. Okay. Okay, so there we go. And our fish is going to just sit here for a minute um, while I mix up some more resin. Okay, so while it's doing that, um, here it is, and I will be back when I've got more resin mixed up. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've mixed up about six more ounces of resin. I think that's going to be too much. I think I need more like about three to four ounces to finish this fish. Um, I see that some of my blue is sinking down to the bottom, and I'm pretty sure it's because I just did a little bit too much on that last scoop. Um, I really didn't want to go that thick, but since I did, I think what I'm going to do for the bottom for this, well, let's see, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to blend a second color in together with this, uh, maybe a bit darker. Let me find something. Hold on just a minute. Yeah, so I think what I want to do as I'm going to blend, I'm going to pour some more of this just plain. Okay, so I guess I'm getting kind of ahead of myself, huh? All right, here's our fish. It's not, it's not, um, it's definitely thickening up, but it's not curing. I mean, it's not cured yet. But I'm going to add a little bit of resin here to our cup that we were using before. Uh, about that much. And I'm going to add just some blue, some of this normal blue that we had. Oh gosh, let's see, maybe about this much. Mix it together here. So this is what we've got. And I'm going to pour a bit more into this. I think there's a little ledge here 
if you can tell, right about here, right here at this line, I'm going to pour to about there all the way across. And, um, and then I'm going to save that top little bunch to blend some of this with the blue. Okay. And let me see how far down this will go. I don't know if I've got any clear in this fish anymore at all. I just kind of went a little heavy handed. So I'm going to have to try this again and do it more the way I was hoping that it would go. So this might end up being a good practice one after all. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm, I'm about at that line that where I wanted to be. And I'm going to spray a bit of alcohol in here. Okay, it's really pretty. The colors are definitely really pretty. So now I'm going to pour some more of this, enough to hopefully finish this off. Probably gonna have to sit this and set this in front of the fan um, just in case it gets a little too hot. That could happen. Let's see what I do with my stick here. Okay, so I need to spray a bit of alcohol in here. It definitely looks top heavy, which is kind of scary, especially with me. <laughs> Look, I'm always knocking stuff over. But um, yeah, gosh, I'm super excited to, to mold this tomorrow and see how it turned out. Really. All right, you guys, I'm going to spray a couple more sprays of alcohol on this. I'm going to watch it so it doesn't flash cure and um, might go ahead and move it over in front of my fan really carefully and let it kind of slowly cure. Okay. All right, I will see you tomorrow and we will unmold it. See you then. Hey everybody, I'm back and our fish here is completely cured and I'm ready to get it out of this mold and see how we did. It looks pretty full of glitter. Um, wasn't exactly the look I was going for, but learned from doing this one. Um, I've done pieces in the past that have actually worked out, um, but this one, <laughs> this one I was, little heavy-handed as I usually am but uh, I am excited to get it out of here I'm not using any don't have any alcohol in this I'm doing just water might be the better way I guess there won't be a big reveal because he's sitting right set up now okay but uh, that's the way this mold is coming off so I'm just gonna leave it like that okay we're getting there okay almost got that tail out of there gosh okay there it is there it is and the mold is all in one piece all right. Okay, so it did. Okay, so what I wanted to do, see up here in the fin where it's, we have a little bit of translucent, right? Well, I wanted that translucent to actually go down a bit further, down about a little under this fin. And then I was hoping to have just a couple of straggling pieces kind of floating here and then gradually getting heavier as it got to the bottom. Now, I think this turned out really pretty. It's actually really cool looking. Um, I think my only regret now is that adding that mermaid um, glitter, I knew it was gonna sink down because it was a bit bigger, but I didn't think it would sink down as far as it did about halfway. But gosh, it's still pretty. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. But um, anyway, here is our fish. Um, yeah, I think the next one that I do, I'm going to probably continue to work on this kind of a method, but I'm going to soften it up a lot. And, um, you know, I just really don't want a defining line here. But in the end, it turned out really pretty. What do you think? The molds are big. And it wasn't too bad to unmold. I got a little bit of the effect I wanted just up here. And um, 
here where I thought I had so much problems with the bubble that I thought I had, it actually wasn't a bubble. It was just some of the translucent um, resin that, you know, wasn't showing any um, color through there. So I thought I had a bubble. But anyway, as you can see, we're really pretty bubble free. The fins and everything are just really kind of a nice subtle look on this little fish. Anyway, the eyes turned out great. He's adorable. And I'm sorry, little guy, about your color kind of getting messed up, but still, he's pretty cute. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go for now, and I will see you all next time. But um, hope you enjoyed this mold. There's links to everything I used, um, except for the glitter, I think, in the description. All right, I will see you all next time. Have a great day.